Hi, Tom Cooper here again, and I want to go over the chat with you and show you how to use that and how to keep in contact with people. It's much like texting on a phone, only without having to leave the network or invite strangers into the conversation. Anyway, there's going to be other things you can do. Groups, like for instance, this main room group is going to be pretty much everybody across the network you can communicate with. You can create groups that are more specialized, uh, for instance, for people in Colorado. You may do things based on interest, bowling leagues, uh, whatever interests you. Or you can direct message people that you know are in the network, and if you don't see them on your connection list here, these will be people you've had conversations with before, but if you want to look up somebody new, you can do a search for them right here. And I'm going to see if I can find Sarah Carter and connect with Sarah. And there's Sarah right there. So I just connect with Sarah like that, click on her. You'll see up in the top right corner her pictures there and her name so you know who you're communicating with. And I'll just send her a message. Good morning, Sarah. And just hit enter. And now I've created a chat that has gone over to Sarah. Okay, so on Sarah's uh, side, when I deliver that merit message, she's going to see it in her direct message, and she can respond to me. Uh, real simply, good morning, Tom. And then she can either press enter or hit down here where it says send message, and then that sends it right back. And we've got a chat going on. Okay, so what I want you to notice here is that, for instance, I am not on the chat page right now, and you can be on any page in here. Uh, it could be on my page and reading comments or placing comments. And what you're going to notice is that this pops up in the right, lower right hand in every page, and it lets you know that there is uh, somebody who's having a chat with you. And what you can do with that is um, respond and respond back, put a chat in here. Um, how are you today? Lunch was great. And now on the other side, Sarah's got my response. And you can keep the private chat going on and off like this all day for days, uh, however long you want to. And there's a few other things you can do here. Uh, you can actually, with this little gear here, it gives you some options. You can add a member to the chat. So maybe I have somebody else that I want to bring into the chat. You could bring in as many people as you like. One, two, ten. You can delete the conversation if you're done with it. Or if somebody's uh, connecting with you and you're not really, you don't want this person connecting to you, you can actually block that person by connecting right here so that nobody, you just click there and that person will be blocked and they can't chat, send chats to you any longer. Uh, so again, you can add members to chat, delete the conversation if you're done with it, or block people from uh, getting in touch with you at all. You can also use this little minus sign to reduce it and it'll keep the chat down in the bottom corner and that way it reminds you that it's there but it's not intruding upon the other things that you're doing when you want to bring it back up just click on that and there it'll be. If you want to close it out you can close it there and then it stops appearing on your on your uh, different pages but it didn't close the chat that chat's still there. If you go over to the chat room here you can find that that chat with Sarah Carter is still available to you. Now if you want to if you're done with that again just delete the conversation and then when you want to have another one you can just direct message Sarah by searching her name and bringing it up. And there she is. And you'll be able to then just start another conversation with her. So you don't want to necessarily leave strings of conversations open forever. It's best to close them out and then start them back up as you need them. But uh, so the different things for groups here, and there will be a lot of groups in here by the time people start adding them in, 
but the main room group is just basically across the network for everybody. Uh, Colorado is just an example here. There's nobody assigned to that yet, but that would be for people who have a shared interest, like, for instance, people who live in Colorado. Uh, it could be any state in the union. You can uh, create groups for any type of interest. So maybe it's a hobby or a profession, that type of thing. And then you can start chats with groups of people or private chats, however you want to do it. But it's real easy to use, and again, I'll just ask you to not be afraid of it. Get in, use it, start creating some messages. Uh, maybe you can ask other friends of yours to sign up for a 30-day trial so you can all start to use these tools and interact with each other and realize that uh, you know this is a pretty good way to stay in touch with friends and family as well as meet new people. And the chat room is a great way to do it. It's just kind of like texting on without using a phone and keeping in touch with other people on the network. So get in and use it, have fun with it, and we'll talk to you in the next video.